Good morning, Year 9. Just want to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about GCSE maths. Now, at GCSE level, maths is one of your compulsory subjects, a bit like English and science. This is a great opportunity for you to learn some essential logic thinking skills and problem solving skills that will help prepare you for kind of today's modern world. Maths goes into so many subjects that you can be choosing. You could be choosing to do engineering, geography, computing. Maths is going to be endlessly helpful in those things. Also, maths helps with lots of your other subjects that you can have to. You have to do chemistry, you have to do biology, and maths comes into those as well. People who perform better in maths often end up performing better in these subjects as well. Maths also opens up an endless avenue of jobs. There are so many jobs in today's modern world that rely on technology and all of that technology relies on maths. But so much of this isn't just relying on the kind of number side of things, it's actually relying on your problem solving, which is a lot of how the exams are written to test you. Speaking of the exams, how will you be assessed? You will have three exams. The first exam is a non-calculator exam. And the second two are both calculator. Everything else about the exams is pretty similar. They all cover all aspects of the GCSE curriculum. They are all an hour and a half long. They all have 80 marks. They are all worth a third of your GCSE. They're all very evenly weighted in that sense. But that's why it's important to make sure that we kind of understand all aspects of maths. It's not that algebra will be on paper one, shape will be on number two, and statistics will be on number three. They can all turn up on all papers. I've just got a short video that I'd like you to watch, talking about some of the reasons that we should enjoy studying maths. 